Hey guys, first of all, Happy New Year. Um, because it's officially 2018. So, I'm here to update you guys right quick because I got the layout all set up. Well, not all set up. It's still, it's still got some work, but, so, as you guys know, I got my MTH Big Boy 4014 here. And I'm all out of proto smoke, which sucks. And so, um, my Nana said, okay, guess what we'll do. We'll order you, I'll order you some more smoke fluid. I'll order you, like, I don't know how many bottles she said. But she said, I'll order you a whole bunch of smoke fluid if you want. I said, sure. So, I was wanting to pick, I was like, um... I really, really want to do, like, JT's Mega Steam, but I don't know if it'll, you know, work or if it'll break anything with MTH's Proto Smoke system. I researched it. Um, it's not going to break anything. It's not going to damage anything. It's going to produce. I, I'm going to get, she's getting me the um, one special, uh, specifically made the Big Boy Premium bin Blend made for the big boys that produces a lot of smoke so I got a tunnel set up and that's gonna be an awesome sight when this thing comes rushing through the tunnel all you're gonna see is steam pouring out here just whoa, like just let it sit in the tunnel for a minute smoke pouring out all the sides and just blow the whistle and just if I ever get a Broadway Limited um, locomotive with a whistle steam smoke effect, um, then, like, of course I chose to go. Then, of course, it's going to have to, for some reason my track wasn't lined up, it's going to have to have some uh, JT's magazine because I checked it out and man, is it cool. This life like track is. I don't know what's going on with it, man. So, here's my previous hill. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, I don't know what these markings are. Like, they're not from me carving or anything, because I never carved them. Um, I plastered it, and I sprayed it with this um, textured paint. So, it's pretty good, though. It's pretty good. Um, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. It's staying. Um, this was the bridge that was here, where the, where the tunnel is. Um, it was a pain in the butt, man. It was a pain in the butt. The tunnel, or not the tunnel, the bridge was not, not, not something I want to do ever again. Because I can't run my big boy on it. And my my diesel is struggling. Was str was struggling on it. My F7 was doing pretty well on it, but it was just the the darn big boy and the well not the darn big boy because big boy is pretty good. The the darn uh, SC70 Ace and um, big boy over here. Not the darn big boy. The big boy. And you know what? It, it, the bridge pretty much hated me, and I hated the bridge. We had a love-hate relation, relationship. I really liked the look of it, but it really, really was horrible to me. So, like, since the big boy isn't articulated, um, you know, this front set of drivers moves. That one does not. So, of course there's a little heavy weight in the back, so, you know what? You know what? It, like, it, of course, when you're going up a bridge, this, this set's probably going to lift up a little bit. And that's what it did. Uh, this whole front was derailed. Like, it kept derailing over and over and over again. Make sure, make, making sure my stuff is pressed down here. Move the bell back. And I want no comments saying, don't use 
smoke fluid or don't use JT's mega steam because I'm not dealing one with that already. Because you know what? I've had I just I, I found a way I I found I thought, well, smoke fluid bottles are five dollars a piece for a small two um two ounce bottle. And I said uh you know what? Let me see if I can find something. And I found a video. It said the secret to smoke fluid. It said baby oil or mineral oil. So I asked on Facebook in one of my model railroad groups, would the would one of these work or would it ruin something on the inside? I got a lot of negative comments back. Don't use the smoke fluid at all. It ruins your locomotive. It just ruins the look of it and. The oil gets everywhere. So what? You that's why it's called cleaning. Oh well the oil gets on the tracks and dust collects there. So that's why we have this stuff called duster. Just got done dusting my track actually. This is why we have something called duster. To dust the tracks. And now I don't want any hate comments on that either. Don't use dust on your tracks. I've used it before and my tracks ran just as well. And then someone else was like, don't run that long heavy freight train with that big boy. Can't handle it. Wow, um, that's an, that's, that's an understatement. You know why? Because this thing can pull 14 cars. I took these two cars off because they were, they're Barnum and Bailey circus cars. I didn't really think they fit in with this. And this thing has a broken coupler. Well, not broken, but it's just like... Well, it's broken. It's stuck. It's a stuck coupler. Let's see if I can... Gosh! There you go. It's kind of just stuck on the inside. It won't open. So that I can couple it up. And so... I'm just going to have to replace the couplers on this thing. So when I go to the train show, I'll get some more rolling stock. I'll get some more diverse rolling stock than just what I have, which is a mixed freight train. Try to find some box cars, maybe some UP box cars. Um, you know what I could actually do? I could repaint this. I could un I could get the um, Burlington Northern stuff off. And we paint this a UP box car. I was just thinking that. Like, all my yellow box cars could become UP um, cars. Like, not that one. Because I like that one. That one's a classic. But I have a rail box one that's yellow. And um, that could be repainted as a UP. But then again, I don't really want to mess anything up. But yeah, guys, just a quick little update on that. Um, I'm still working on it. There's gonna be a lot more to come. These towers are lighted so that, you know, right in there. Towers are lighted so that you plug them in, turn them on. Towers are lighted. May have some crew figures up in there. Um, but, oh, I didn't really cover the whole bridge thing. Um, so it was bringing the front set of drivers. And the lead trucks, the lead truck off the wheels, or pff, off the wheels, that's how tired I am, off the rails, it was taking it off the rails, and it would derail and, and just kind of sit there for a moment, its rear driver spinning, and then it would kind of move and you could hear, like, That's me driving the smoke to the bottle. That's the sound that it would make. That's how you would know that um, it was off. So, yeah, guys. Um, hopefully, I'll get a bunch of buildings on here. Once I sort out a way, I'll get some wider curves because right now... <laughs> This thing is struggling on the 18 inch. Um, it, it goes on 18 inch. It's just not happy on 18 inch. This right here, this first driver, 
keep slipping off on the rear set. Grab my little spark smoke bottle. That driver right there keeps slipping off. Um, so it's to really be happy, it needs 22 inch um, because it does like to slip off. But besides that, um, and it's not my track or anything. Um, because even on my old track, it did that. Like on that track, it did it. So I didn't have a big enough loop, a track, with both my easy track loops combined to make one big one like this. Yeah. So my Nana also bought me a cross track, like a, um, like a diamond, not diamond, but like cross track that goes like that. Like an X, like an X, like that. You know, it goes like one train there and one train there. Just kidding. To make a figure eight so that I could connect like that and make a figure eight. And on the inside, I think that's what I'm going to do is make a figure eight on the inside. And just go. But hopefully I'll get some buildings and stuff put in there. And also, they bought me some, my mom won off eBay a left hand switch, and my Nana bought me a right hand switch off of uh, Amazon, which is where she got the diamond, and she made sure it was lifelike. But anyways, guys, I will see you all later, because I have no idea. But, oh, quickly, I've rearranged a lot. My TV's now here, too. Look at this. Look at this. I can literally jump in bed oh, and watch TV right here. Look at that. That's just awesome, is it not? I can watch TV while I'm laying in bed. So, anyways, guys, like I said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later because I have no idea why. So, good luck.